Wow. This is a special episode of a couple of these, because instead of drawing uh, shitty images, uh, we get to talk about a little game demo I made, <clears throat> which isn't really that much. <laughs> you made this I whole made this scene? That's exciting, though. I'm glad people are looking at this and saying, hey, this looks cool. Yeah, it, this is a pretty bare bones, just like walking simulator. Yeah, I just, I put this together ever since I started learning 3D. Um, like the first thing I want to do is remake this game um, before I, you know, realized that doing any amount of coding or Unity or really anything is very difficult <laughs> um, when you're starting out. So there's a lot of like basic stuff you need to know. Need to know. Um, so and then you know once I got more used to 3D, um, I I just assumed that this game was gonna get remade anyway. Oh, yeah. because it seemed like a shoe in that Gino was gonna be in Smash, <laughs> and then it it's yeah. like with that you know Nintendo's not just gonna wanna not capitalize on <laughs> putting that character in, right? So yeah. like, this game wouldn't take that much to redo if like Nintendo actually wanted Yeah, you already made a whole it. room. Yeah, and this took me like three days, you oh, know? All right. Uh, but I just figured since this game wasn't very much effort to really make, and it seemed like the Geno thing was gonna happen, that I shouldn't put in the effort for that. But then Smash <laughs> came and went, and there's still been no mention of it, like, in, I think it's been a year. Oh, yeah. Since Smash, like, all ended. Yeah. Well, I think. So now I'm doing it. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I figured uh, we'd record a special couple of these episodes, since a lot of people were interested in this project. Um, and had a lot of questions as to the extent of it. Um, I got a lot of DMs and comments of people just kind of wondering, like, am I remaking the whole game? Can they play it, etc. No plans to do either of those. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my, my intentions are mostly to just remake parts of the game that I think are cool and remake enough of it as practice for myself. Yeah. Um, just because I thought making an RPG isn't too too coding heavy. Uh, with my last game project, or my first and last game project, <laughs> being like a more dynamic 3D adventure. Yeah. It's, it's insane how this just looks like one of your art pieces that you can move in. Like, it, yeah, look at that! Fun. Look at that right there. That that pole on the bed. That's nice looking pool. But what what would you call like this being finished? How many boxes or how many areas uh, do you want to get finished? I mean, I'm, I'm interested in making like a lot of the beginning part of the game. Um, and then, you know, some cooler later parts. But I think uh, actually, do you know, you know, Render 96, that project? No. Um, Explain. It's a Super Mario 64. Uh, That's like mom out. hack, yeah. Uh, to make all of the models look like they did in promotional art. And I think I have seen that. The, we'll watch this one the guy who is, um, it's like the director of that project, reached out to me. Yeah, they're working on like a similar thing with the Mario RPG project, where they're trying to remake all the assets to port them into the game. That's crazy. Um, so this is kind of related to that. I'm mostly doing my own thing, but I'm also providing textures and assets that I make uh, for their project. Oh, really? I didn't even know this. I'm, I'm learning at the same time as everyone. What the hell? Yeah. That's so, insane. That's fun. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, they're, uh, they differ a little bit in that I think they're trying to go for like one one-to-one -one texture, color, layout and everything and my philosophy with this is more of a oot 3d or ocarina of time 3d kind oot. of remake <laughs> he, he threw out oot. oot like people would just be like oh, i mean yeah they're probably not <laughs> just like that um you know where they they kind of edit the placement of things and fill out the world a little bit more with the you know better technology yeah exactly while you're also you know working Ain't got time to do a whole game. Yeah. Just yeah. I, pieces. 
Another thing is, you know, I can't remake the whole game because it's it's licensed property. Nah, they'll let you go through. I know Nintendo's um, pretty chill about that. I'm I'm sure that you know if I remade the whole game and I didn't let anyone play it, that, that would probably be fine. It would be such a I kind of want to let people play some of it, um, just as like a demo. You should when you make the demo, you just reskin everything. But I think yeah, <laughs> I think if I go too far in that direction, then it's easy for me to get a cease and desist. And oh, people, yeah. people, especially in comments, that's kind of all they talk about. <laughs> get like, ready to be cease and desist. Can't wait for Nintendo to send you a cease and desist. <laughs> like, right. like, are they on the side of Nintendo? I, I, I get it. <laughs> I get it. So I'm not, I'm not trying to do too much, but. Like, like this was already like, ah, uh, just showing the art for, ah. Uh, this just looks like an interactive art piece. <gasps> Yeah. Would that get taken down? Probably. An interactive art piece? I mean, no. Um, it, a lot <laughs> it's of a the, whole game. <laughs> a lot of the cease and desist thing is, um, I mean, obviously if you're charging anyone for playing yeah. a Mario game, you're going to get cease and desisted. But even free fan projects will get taken down. <sighs> it's, um, you know, promises too much. Hey, everybody, can we riot against Nintendo things? It, it's don't. easy for Nintendo to argue that uh, any of these games can be mi mistaken for their own intellectual property. Oh, obviously. I, you uh, could probably show this to someone and be like, this is the teaser for the new game. Yeah, and they'd be like, oh, why is it janky? You know? <laughs> why does Mario look like Mario? So I I think it's valuable to have a, a proof that or proof of concept that this works. Yeah. My intention with this is we're still going to do the regular, like, uh, drawing episodes with a couple of these, but every so often we might have, like, game dev update or game log kind of thing. Yeah. Where we well, just talk about this project. Absolutely. Just because it seems like people enjoy it, and it's something that I'm probably not going to stop doing. <laughs> you, you can't know. stop So we might doing as well it. make content about it. Yeah, absolutely. And you have other rooms, like... From what I've seen on Twitter, check yeah, out so the I, Twitter for I have other, other stuff that I'm making. Um, I just haven't ported it into this Unity project yet. Yeah. Uh, like I have the house, the outside made, but porting it in requires that I make like the surrounding, and I don't have any environmental assets right now. I love this like lighting it, part. I'm also interested in like sharing these uh, models if people want to use them. Like, that's what I'm doing with uh, much, uh, Render 96 uh, people uh -huh. are, you know, I'm handing off the models that they want to use. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I also just don't really mind if this is something people can mess around with themselves. Yeah. I mean, Nintendo can't stop all of us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if everyone makes a game, then no one really made a game. Yeah. Then we're not all super. And this is also like... A uh, you know, I can always reuse a lot of these assets and um, just overall gameplay if I ever want to make something that's similar to this, but something that I can actually work on without worrying about a cease and desist. So when are you remaking Yoshi's Woolly World? I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I think that game came out like three years ago. <laughs> and it looks fine. Uh, I don't think it sold particularly well. But like, a remake's definitely needed. Yeah, if, uh, if Finn in the future editing this can zoom in on that window, we can actually see Bowser's model just like sitting out there. <laughs> zoom in now. I didn't want to, yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I didn't want to uh, just completely delete him from the scene because he's got some stuff that I set up, like to control him. Oh. But I didn't want to just like delete all of that. So <laughs> I just hid him. <laughs> <laughs> Put him away. All. Yeah, and I'll pick that back up when I actually need it. Yeah. But yeah, I think next step is make the outside of this house. Um, I gotta rig, rig up Gino, just cause. He's so excited to do that. I yeah, see his really cape was giving me trouble, which is why he's not and playable yet. I wanna see that now. Yeah. I mean, why can't I play with the Probably this whole stuff. time, I'll have been going through like different slides of pieces of the project. Yeah. So that's probably on screen right now. It's the breaking <laughs> Gino model. <laughs> <laughs> Exploding. But I figured we'd reunion, we'd talk a little bit about this and uh, go for that. Update, update. Update.
And, you know, this just seemed like a good opportunity to get a couple of geese out there. Yeah, it's this is the gotta, first time you've gotten, like, really good audience on Twitter. Yeah, we got to capitalize on those Ws because I don't get a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't no www dot. We just a W dot. Cool. <laughs> don't look at me. Well, like I that. think we're done. Let's give it a real goodbye then. Goodbye. <laughs>